Hey guys, if you didn't know, I'm a big nerd on insignificant game mechanics or trivia. For example, one time I was looking around the triggers on CP2 in between scrims, and I don't think my friendship has ever been the same with my friends. Or like how there's a frog outside of Gully Wash spawn. Anyways, one of my favorite weapons in this silly little game is the Beggar's Bazooka. So I'll be showing stupid tech with the Beggar's Bazooka. Let's get started. The first thing I'd like to show you all is town storage and the basics. I think this technique, or rather oversight, is one we all recognize, used and abused before. And this oversight basically works like the other oversights I'll be showing. The oversight happens when you interrupt the loading of the rockets. In this case, we're interrupting loading the last rocket with a taunt. In this loaded taunt state, you're fully able to move your mouse and thus choose where you're gonna fire your rockets. Dealing around 300 damage depending on the damage fall of and how many rockets you load and where the rockets are gonna go to do rocket deviation. And this goes for all the rest of the stuff I'll be showing, but the unique part about Dawn Storage is when you change the directions, your first rocket will go to the original angle you first faced. So you're able to shoot out of your back, so something like killing an enemy directly behind you with the first rocket and then another enemy in front of you with the second and third rocket is possible. Huh? Individual bigger storage. While shooting your 3 or less rockets, you can also taunt whenever you want, basically cycling back to taunt storage. So you can do funny stuff like binding a key to the guitar taunt and shoot the rockets one at a time. iPad storage. So the first thing I want to say about the iPad is you should not do this in official matches. This iPad is completely busted and Uncle Topia caught on to this since they just disabled this completely. So by binding the commands to open and close the contractor, that's the iPad by the way, your class model looks at the iPad and you're not able to do anything until you press your other bind disabling it. The thing that's so busted about this iPad is that it completely displaces your hitbox from your class model. You can either stand still, duck, move or whatever you like to do. So with all the storages I'm showing, this works by interrupting the rocket loading. The thing is with the iPad storage is you can shoot wherever you want. You're a first person so you can choose wherever you'd like to shoot by moving your mouse. Your 3D model follows your mouse movement unlike Taunt storage so shooting out of your back is not possible. And you can also do this without the iPad and this is what I like to call dry storage. It's the same thing except there's no fucked up 3D model. Someone's going walking. Bro what oh is this absolute oh psychopath doing? Oh my god. <laughs> That's not fair. Both death beggar storage. This is something I saw in like a 30 second clip. A newer player picked up the beggar's bazooka that was dropped and shot 3 rockets instantly. I instantly booted up DS2 and started labbing. When you drop a weapon, it drops with the exact same clip as you had when you died. And with the beggars of course, if you interrupt the loading, all your rockets are stored. If you pick it up, you instantly unload all your stored rockets. And this is pretty limited because you can't pick up the beggars and load another rocket or switch weapons. It's pick up the beggars and instantly shoot. The thing what you can do is taunt. You have about 15 milliseconds to taunt and thus do taunt search. You can also just die again and drop the beggars with 3 rockets still in it. The time it takes for a weapon to disappear is 30 seconds so if you can coordinate after your feed roamer died it could be pretty useful if the weapon is near a choke point. But other than that it's kind of a once in a lifetime moment. Also you can chain the beggar sword so you can theoretically unload 9 rockets within seconds. Make sure all the beggars have yellow eye lines otherwise when you drop your beggars it will disappear. That's it for the video. I do want to say it's pretty funny that this free to play got me looking into beggar storage and making this video. So I guess credit to this guy. If you want to learn more about the beggars then I recommend joining the 20BB discord. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, just let me know by liking the video or leaving a comment. Thanks. I might have to buy some more onions at the market tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>